So I hope y'all doing great on tonight. Let's go ahead and jump into this nighttime combo. So I talked about Blaine on my blog post this week, and I talked about how there is no winner. Now, let's be honest. Most of us have played into that game. We Either we were on the receiving end of it, or we was the one placing the blame. But we know nobody wins. And it seems that blame is like this get out of jail card um, to be free from whatever is hurting us. But that's deceptive. You know, blame can't do anything. What can it do, really? Is there's no action taken, no forward movement, no healing. So what's the purpose of it? And to be really honest, some people may not ever recognize what they did wrong to you. And that's okay. You know, honestly, and I can feel y'all on this. I understand by wanting a person to feel what you feel, you know, to really empathize with you, you know, with the situation. But at the same time, I understand that I cannot make people feel a certain way about me. I have to decide that I want to make progress in my life. And that starts with accepting these two things, responsibility and accountability. So responsibility. Let's start off with this statement. Be responsible for your response to the things that happen to you and around you. I cannot control what someone else does, but I can control me. Now, this has been a growing pain for me because I felt that people were getting away scot-free. Now, let's be fair, you know, in all fairness, I do not know what all things that have happened to these people in their lives. I don't know everything about them or what they have been through. But in my mind, I still felt that they were wrong. And I used them as reasons why I couldn't move on. You know, I don't know what happened to their life. And I, maybe something bad may have happened to them or somebody may have did something to them and they end up doing it to me to hide their pain. But, you know, I can't, you know, use them as reasons why I can't move on. And on the other hand, I also felt like I was the target of someone else's blame. And I got myself wrapped up in the game of people pleasing so they can improve me. And neither of those instances were solid excuses for my stagnation and my healing. No one can put a gun to my head and force me to stay stuck. Nor can they make me accept the responsibility of making them feel good because I have the power to choose. How I respond determines how I move on, and that does not mean to excuse wrong behavior, but go in a different direction away from it. And that simply means, you know, changing who I am so I will not become what they did. You know, someone betray you and you become a victim to that betrayal and instead of, you know, become a heal from it. And you can instantly, you know, you can instantly just become what people you know, put on your life. Like if they say that you're this, you know, this thief or they say you're the person that sleep around a lot and you end up becoming that, you know, end up harboring that bitterness and that resentment and that jealousy and that envy and you become that instead of going a different direction away from that. So I challenge, you know, you and also myself as well, you know, I'm here with y'all too, to change from being victimized to victorious. Being a victim does not require responsibility. You don't have to do anything, but being a victim do. And that means taking the necessary steps to heal, forgive, and move on. To prosper, to overcome, to be victorious, all of that, it takes responsibility. Work must be done. So accountability. Next statement, be accountable for the choices you make. Now, here's another growing pain for me in this area. You know, I had a hard time recognizing that I can make the decisions on who I decide to connect to. Can nobody force me to be friends with them? Can nobody force me to connect with them? I have to make those decisions. And you know what I love about forgiveness? It has this wisdom to it. It teaches me to guard my heart from bitterness and resentment so I will not close my heart up and shut out the people you know, that are made to be in my life. And it also teaches me the importance of boundaries. So I will not allow anything to enter my heart. You know, I struggle with letting people go because I worried about their hurt feelings more than my broken heart. And when I realized that my future was worth more than hold on to my past, I decided to leave them behind. 
I can make the choice to not allow all this toxic behavior or dysfunction into my life. And I can also make the choice to not become that same bad behavior or bad person to someone else. I can make the choice to strive to make better decisions that are prosper me in life. I can make the choice what type of friends I have, what career I work in, where I want to stay, who I date, what I eat. I'm going to be making choices until the day I die. So I have to be accountable for how I live my life so I will not give in to the blame game. Even when it comes to mistakes that I have made and wrong things I have done to others, I don't have to keep blaming myself because I have the power to make the right decisions. Again, it does not excuse the wrong, but that's when accountability steps in and corrects me. I recognize the bad behavior, the thoughts, and the habits, and I make the required adjustments. So I hope y'all got something out tonight. Remember, you are responsible for your own life. No one wins the blind game. Someone will lose their peace trying to blame someone else, and someone will lose their joy trying to take on the blame from someone else. You are responsible for your own life. You're not in control of what somebody else does, but you are in control of you. I hope y'all have a great night, and see you next Friday.